Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, the Thanksgiving edition. Here's Farmer Joe Weber. Yes, sir. Hi, Tim. Your products are on the shelves. Talk about farm to table. Here we are in Salvisa. People who have driven through has probably seen your critters in the backdrop. You are one of these folks who have <laughs> noisy turkeys. <Yeah>. You are. <laughs> You're one of these folks who have been out there in the real world. You have had a job. You've had a life outside of this. What called you to this pasture, these critters? What what made you do that? Well, uh, I uh, felt like I wasn't really doing my part in the world and offering something, so I uh, uh, couldn't figure out what I needed to do and read a book, You Can Farm by Joe Salatin, and changed my life and uh, showed me some opportunities that were available out there where you could actually make a living at farming and thought I'd give it a shot. You know, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. People are paying attention to where their food's coming from. Mm -hmm. Back here, we're seeing you do this. We're seeing these birds on pasture as opposed to a dimly lit, stinky house. They're supposed to eat grass and bugs. Well, they're uh, getting more of a natural diet out here, and they are uh, getting some grain supplement with this, but we do a non-GMO grain, and uh, you, know, they, you can see them out here pecking around, scratching, looking for bugs every day, and that's what they would normally do in the wild kind of have a, a cleaner way of life as opposed to being in a confinement house. Now, what are these, what breed is this? These are broad-breasted bronze, so they're similar to the broad-breasted whites, um, which are the same kind of you would see in the grocery store on a normal basis. Uh, the bronze just have the color of the wild turkeys, which uh, looks a lot better in my opinion. You know, I enjoy having them. What's the difference in, a, in the meat? I feel like um, where they're eating the grass, and you know, there's been some studies done as well, but um, it helps cleanse them out and you actually get a cleaner meat. You know, they get a lot more vitamins from obviously being on pasture and eating the grass and bugs. And, uh, it just makes it more nutritious. So you've got the white ones over here. Now those are gonna be ground turkey. A lot of people buy ground turkey as an alternative to red meat for burgers and so on and so forth. Right, much leaner meat. Why these? Why are these going one direction and those going the other? Well, these just happen to be older, so they're going to be ready for Thanksgiving, which is, you know, here in a couple weeks. Gotcha. And uh, those, uh, when you're doing ground turkey, you tend to get them a little bit bigger. That way you have more, uh, end up with more product. Right. Don't have to be big enough for Thanksgiving yet. What are the challenges of, of turkeys as opposed to chickens or? Well, they take longer. Uh, you know, they take anywhere from uh, 14 to, uh, if you're doing ground, up to 20 weeks. And so you get a lot more time invested. So, from this point, you send these guys out to be clean, and do they end up on local shelves? They do. Uh, we sell to a couple stores, grocery stores, and then we also sell to some restaurants, and uh, we do uh, quite a few just uh, families that reserve a turkey for Thanksgiving and then come and pick it up or meet us at a certain location. You know what, Joe? You are doing cool stuff, man, and I applaud you. When you hear these sounds, you smell these smells, it's just... You're drawn to it. It's either part of you or it's not. And I think you got a cool thing going. Good seeing like you, it. man. Good Thanks to see so you, much. Too. Thank you.